On Saturday, November 27, 2004, His All Holiness Bartholomew I, the Archbishop of Constantinople and Ecumenical Patriarch, traveled to Rome to retrieve the relics of St. Gregory the Theologian and St. John Chrysostom. The holy relics had been in the possession of the Roman Catholic Church since they were seized by Western armies during the Fourth Crusade in 1204. Both St. Gregory and St. John served as patriarchs of Constantinople during the late 4th century, a formative period for Christian theology and worship. Along with St. Basil the Great, these saints have been recognized by Orthodox Christians since the Middle Ages as the three hierarchs and ecumenical teachers, an acknowledgment of their unparalleled contributions to the articulation and defense of the faith. In the 20th century, the Orthodox and Roman Catholic churches began an effort to heal their nearly 1,000-year-old schism. In 1964, the ecumenical patriarch Athenagoras and Pope Paul VI met in Jerusalem and mutually rescinded the excommunications of 1054 and established a dialogue of love between the two churches. At that time, Pope Paul VI returned some of the religious treasures belonging to the Orthodox Church. But the relics of St. John and St. Gregory remained in the Vatican at St. Peter's Basilica until the present. È un grande, grandissimo grazie. In 2001, on a visit to Greece, Pope John Paul II offered a blanket apology for the sins of the past perpetrated by Roman Catholics against Orthodox Christians, including the sacking of Constantinople in 1204. In June of 2004, Ecumenical Patriarch Bartholomew traveled to Rome for the Feast of Saints Peter and Paul and to commemorate the 40th anniversary of the Dialogue of Love, initiated by Patriarch Athenagoras and Pope Paul VI. During their conversations, Pope John Paul II apologized once again for the sins of the Fourth Crusade. Ecumenical Patriarch Bartholomew then requested the return of the relics of Saints Gregory and John, noting that the Orthodox Church did not desire the return of money or material wealth taken in 1204, but rather sought the restoration of its great saints and ecumenical teachers to their place where they belonged as Archbishops of Constantinople. Omnes Sancti Doctores, Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, In the year 404, the Byzantine Empress Evdohia misinterpreted St. John Chrysostom's preaching against luxury as a personal critique. Enraged, she ordered him into exile. St. John spent the last three years of his life in exile. During this period, St. John wrote two letters to the Bishop of Rome, St. Innocent, chronicling the difficulty of his situation. Despite his struggle, however, St. John rejoices in the common faith shared by the Pope and himself. During the ecumenical service that accompanied the transfer of the relics, His Eminence Archbishop Demetrius, the Archbishop of America, read the second of these letters in the original Greek. St. John had written, 
Although we are separated from you by a great distance, we are in daily communion with you, beholding with the eyes of love the courage of your soul, the sterling nature of your disposition, your firmness and inflexibility, and the great consolation, constant and abiding, which you bestow upon us. Epistula innocenti primi pape ad Ioannem Chrysostomum. Pope Innocent's response to St. John follows in the original Latin. In the letter, St. Innocent laments John's suffering but praises his fortitude. He concludes by consoling St. John that everyone who leaves the world with a pure conscience finds rest in heaven. Competentes littere per ciriacum diaconum sum transmisse. Celebreremo un unica lode e un unica eucaristia. According to ancient canon law, the Bishop of Rome was regarded as the first among equals, an honorary title that explains his position with respect to other leaders of autocephalous churches until the schism of 1054. Since the schism between the East and West during the 11th century, however, the ecumenical patriarch has assumed the role of first among equals in the Orthodox communion. Canonically, the ecumenical patriarch is the primate of the See of Constantinople and of all the churches in the diaspora, including the United States, Canada, and South America. Symbolically, he is recognized as the spiritual leader of the entire Orthodox Christian community. Since the earliest centuries, Christians have collected and venerated the relics of the saints. Theologically, the holiness of the saint's life is understood to sanctify his body. Orthodox Christians venerate relics because they are the mortal remains of bodies sanctified by God. Naturally, the return of the relics of St. Gregory and St. John to Constantinople is a momentous celebration in the Orthodox world. Tutto ciò vi ringraziamo dal profondo del cuore, Santissimo e diletto Fratello in Cristo, e vi ringraziamo per la vostra decisione nobile, sacra e ricca di simbolismo. At the conclusion of the ecumenical ceremony in Rome, His All Holiness Patriarch Bartholomew thanks Pope John Paul for returning the relics, a clear expression of Christian love and an important step toward reconciliation. They then embrace and share the Christian kiss of peace. Following the kiss of peace, the relics of St. Gregory and St. John are escorted out of St. Peter's Basilica in a ceremonial procession, where the Patriarch and the Pope exit side by side. From Rome, His All Holiness Ecumenical Patriarch Bartholomew, accompanied by Archbishop Demetrius of America and other hierarchs, will escort the relics back to Constantinople.